We begin tonight from the nation's capital, Abuja, where the president has once again expressed concerns over the continued terrorism and violent extremism, which he says is threatening the peace of West Africa. President Muhammad Buhari said this while giving his opening speech at the 54th ordinary session of heads of state and government of the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, in Abuja. The president called on all member countries of ECOWAS to ensure payment of all statutory community uh, levies in order to empower and enable its commission implement the sub-regional integration agenda. Meanwhile, the leaders have adopted a political declaration on the need to return African artifacts to their countries of origin. Our correspondent Terry Kumi now reports. Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari, who is also the chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government, is joined by other leaders from the sub-region for the ordinary session holding in Abuja. At this meeting, the 54th in the series, part of the agenda is to consider several reports, including the ones on the ECOWAS single currency and the security situation in some member countries. It's a matter of concern that terrorism and violent extremism have continued to threaten the peace and security in our sub-region. This threat calls for collective action on our part if we are to effectively and definitively eliminate it. As we work on new strategies to combat and irrigate this menace, we require the support of our partners to ensure the achievement of our objective. He reiterates his pledge to free, fair and credible elections in 2019. Still on sub-regional peace, as we are all aware, Nigeria and Senegal will hold general elections in February 2019. On my part, I have already made a pledge to conduct free, fair, and credible election. Then the leaders go into a closed-door session for about six hours and return with some resolutions. The authority also invites member states to speed up the implementation of the biometric identity card and instructs the ECOWAS Commission to ensure the acceptance or its acceptance by all member states to allow holders of the card to travel freely in the region. The authority adopts a political declaration on the return of African cultural artifacts to their countries of origin in order to restore, <coughs> preserve, and enhance the regional cultural heritage. The leaders also expressed satisfaction for the status of preparations for the general elections which will take place in Nigeria next year, urging government and relevant electoral bodies to leave no stone unturned in ensuring that the elections are peaceful, free and transparent. In the run-up to the 2019 general elections, the need for adequate preparedness on the part of security agents, as well as politicians, has become the subject of public discussions. At the end of a four-week training for officers of the Nigerian police and other security agencies on electoral violence and security in Abuja, the representatives of the Inspector General of Police say that they are confident the security agents are ready and willing to keep the peace during the elections in 2019. In a similar event organized by the Presidential Summit Center, speakers and presidential aspirants highlighted some of the major issues to be addressed before the elections. Our correspondent Kayla Megwa reports. Several events are being held across the country in the build-up to the elections. And top on the agenda is the security situation across the nation. <laughs> These security agents here are from the police force and other security agencies. They have just concluded a four-week course from the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center on electoral violence and security. Participants here believe they are ready for the elections. Our expectation is that even the police officers and the, the ladies who received this training, they will spread it all over the country. 
somehow in, in order to inform and to to um, to teach even their colleagues yeah who has not the beneficiary or the privilege to join our course and therefore I'm quite convinced yeah I'm sure that the election will be conducted supported by all the security um, agencies in a very professional and successful manner. However, it is not just the security agents that are charged with keeping the peace. Everyone is a major player, as stated by speakers at this presidential summit. Creating an environment for free and peaceful elections is the responsibility for all politicians, especially for you, uh, presidential candidates and other candidates uh, for uh, higher positions, and as well, it's a responsibility for all citizens. It's about capacity. Let Nigerians at least be opportune to have presidential candidates with capacity. People who has what it takes to understand the dynamics in the system and will have solutions for these challenging dynamics. Politicians also give their commitment to a violence-free exercise. I'm known to be a protagonist of, of, of peace. And so the idea that um, our election should end up in um, destabilization of the country is not something that I would ever subscribe to. We're talking about violence. There is nothing we can do to stop violence if we cannot bring our youths on board. And now, like I said, if I'm a sitting president, I said it before and I'm saying it again, that for the first time, as a sitting president, 50% of all the appointments is going to be our youth. It is a conversation that must continue. Violence is never an option. And that is a fact everyone must embrace. No Kayla Megwa, Channel Television News. Out of the 28, 22 of the standard bearers of political parties in Bochi State have signed a pact for peaceful conduct ahead of the general uh, gubernatorial elections in March 2019. The signatures of the peace accord document were signed at the ANIC headquarters in Bochi under the auspices of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Electoral Security and it was witnessed by traditional and religious leaders, security agencies and other key players. The governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Bala Muhammad, said it is gratifying to see political parties respond positively. This election is not a do or die affair. We want the government of the day to know that we are all civil servants. We are all servants of people. And of course, other natural leaders. We are very grateful to them. We have pledged to go by the rules and to make sure the rules and regulations established to conduct elections are followed strictly. And definitely, you will find us law abiding. And of course, at the end of the day, we will have a peaceful election. In the meantime, the governor of Bochi State also promised to work with security agencies to ensure that peace continues to reign in the state. The only thing I would want to add is, as the governor of Bochi State, I'm also the chief security officer of Bochi State. And I'm therefore not going to fold my arms and allow anybody to break the peace we have been enjoying in the last three and a half years. We will encourage the Nigeria Police Force, the State Security Department, to continue the good work they are doing in maintaining law and order in Bauchi State. And I pledge that the government of Bauchi State will ensure that elections 2019 will be peacefully conducted in the state. More stories now. The Independent National Electoral Commission has revealed that it will provide separate queues for persons living with disabilities and women in the 2019 general elections. This is according to the resident electoral commissioner for Jigao State, Dr. Mahmoud Isa in an interview with journalists after a voter education program at the Manpower Development Institute in Dutte, the Jigao state capital.
You know, uh, we learn from mistakes. Uh, our mistakes in the past, we fine tune it, especially in Jigao in particular. We take all the necessary measures to make sure that people with disabilities are fully involved in the election process. Uh, a sufficient space will be provided for them so that they cannot join the normal queue with the others because they cannot uh, because 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 of their uh, peculiarity, because of the problems they have, the natural problems they have. So. Uh, what we're going to have this time around is going to be a, a separate queue for people with disability so that uh, they can vote easily. And staying with election matters, the Cross River State Governor, Professor Ben Ayade, has inaugurated the People's Democratic Party PDP Campaign Council in the state with a charge on members to win their polls, their polling units. Governor Ayadi says that he is confident the party will sweep next year's general elections given the achievements recorded by his administration, saying that the inauguration of the council was a mere formality. If I continue, we will leave this place. We'll be losing time. Let me face the business of Cross River State. Let me create a new opportunity. Let me decouple Cross River from its dependence on federal government. While you do the politics, let me fix the governance. Let us create a future. We don't have a serious election. We have a capable director general. We have a, capi a capable party structure. And veterans who have always delivered their polling units. You are all here. And I know from the experience we had in the Obudu uh, rerun, every single appointee raised money from his pocket to deliver his polling unit. Every single person Please, nobody is too powerful to cross to another man's pulling unit. Be in your pulling unit. I'm only going to evaluate you based on your pulling unit, not your word. Those who are in charge of word, the DJ will arrange for word management. But essentially, every one of us is equal before the ballot box. Every one of us is equal before the 